وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن دي مظاهر the forms in which uh, low aspiration uh, manifests Inshallah ta'ala today we're going to go into the 11th which is الاشتغال بالسفاس في الأمور ومحقرات الأعمال preoccupying yourself and busying yourself with insignificant things things that have low value you preoccupy your time and your life with those matters which are very insignificant you find a lot of youths youngsters they live this world bila hadafin wala ghaya they live in this world with no objective or aim there is no hem there's no lofty aspiration present in their hearts and there's no uh, determination and dedication for a brighter future that they are looking for or they're trying to achieve. You don't see that. All that you find that they're busy with is their clothing that they wear. They are preoccupied with the car that they drive, the rims on the car, the shades and the uh, tint on the car. They are preoccupied with the spoiler, the ending of وَمَا إِلَى ذَلِكَ أَشْيَاءَ which are tafiha. And they are also preoccupied with متابعت أخبار الفن والرياضة. They are preoccupied in following news about football. This player was bought for this much. This is how much he was paid. This is how much goals he scored in this uh, season. He's the, he's the top man of the match. وما إلى ذلك Things like that. Or they are preoccupied الجلوس في الطلقات sitting on the road and in restaurants and sitting there and laughing and joking and whoever goes by whether it's a man or a woman just look at them that's all their life means this is a sign of low aspiration and if your whole entire life is that what do you really live for brothers and sisters what is the value that you bring to this world what is the value you bring to your religion, your deen? Are you just going to come and time is just going to perish you and you go? And your presence in this world and your absence are both the same? Is that what you want to be? Or some people are even worse. Their presence in this world is worse than when they go. How many people will be happy that they go? They've caused harm on this earth. Some people, they are preoccupied with their phones and their mobile phones excessively, just texting, whatsapping, calling all day, messaging. These things are, without a doubt, الاشتغال بسفاسي في الأمور ومحق بسفاسي في الأمور ومحقراتي الأعمال is preoccupying yourself with things that are insignificant and of no value. That's what it is, wallah. You're a Muslim. You're a mu'min, insha'Allah. You have to have that high aspiration. Your life cannot be about that. Number 12. The 12th thing that is a sign of dunul himma, low aspiration, is al-ishq. It's love and obsession. Ibn Aqil al-Hanbali, rahimahullah, he said, وَمَا كَانَ الْعِشْقُ إِلَّا لِأَرْعَنَا بَطَّالٍ وَقَلَّ أَنْ يَكُونَ فِي مَشْغُولٍ وَلَوْ بِصِّنَاعَةٍ أَوْ تِجَارَةٍ فَكَيْفَ بِعُلُومٍ شَرْعِيَّةٍ أَوْ حُكْمِيَّةٍ Ibn Aqil rahimah Allah, as it's mentioned in the kitab Al-Adab Al-Shar'iyah by Ibn Muflih rahimah Allah. Ibn Aqil, he said that love and obsession is only found in a person who is lazy. A person who is, and he has nothing to do. 
And he then said, وَقَلَّ أَنْ يَكُونَ فِي مَشْغُولٍ It is rare that you find love and obsession in the heart of a person who is مَشْغُولٍ وَلَوْ بِالصِّنَاعَةِ Someone who's preoccupied, who's busy, who's, some, who's doing something and productive in their life. وَلَوْ بِالصِّنَاعَةِ Even if it's not a religious issue, even if it's a profession, he's got a job, he's got a, um, he's, uh, he has a, um, a nine-to-five job. He's working in a, uh, a field of, you know, he's specializing in something or he's working in a particular industry. Yani that individual, or tijara, or he's a businessman or a woman. That person, majority of the times, you don't find them busy with, the, with ishq, love, and obsession. Then he says, فَكَيْفَ بِعُلُومٍ شَرْعِيَّةٍ أَوْ حُكْمِيَّةٍ Then what do you think with a person who's preoccupied in the religion? If a person who's preoccupied in worldly matters, doesn't really get caught up in these obsession of love and lust majority of the times because they're busy with what they're doing. Then what do you think about if a person was preoccupied with the religion and he was busy achieving the akhirah? Majority of the times that doesn't happen. It happens when your aspiration goes down. Now, what I'm saying, I keep saying is the word love with obs- uh, and uh, obsession يعني obsessive love I'm going to mention a line of poetry of الذين ابتلوا بالعشق one individual who was tested with excessive love ممن قصر همته and his aspiration became very low uh, especially this poetry is when he was called to do jihad the Muslims were going to wage war and fight and defend their land and their country and uh, he was called out for the jihad and then he said about that he said يَقُولُونَ جَاهِدْ يَا جَمِيلُ بِغَزْوَةٍ وَأَيُّ جِهَادٍ غَيْرَهُنَّ أُرِيدُ He said they are saying to me جَاهِدْ يَا جَمِيلُ Jamil, come up and fight and participate in the battle and then he said which jihad do I want uh, to participate in? لكل حديث بينهن بشاشة وكل قتيل عندهن شهيد. Between every dialogue with these with the woman, there's a smile and there's a laugh in it. And then he says وكل قتيل عندهن شهيد. And everyone that is killed عندهن with besides them is a martyr. He he's considering that the best jihad for him is to sit with a woman and to talk to her. He said, that is the jihad that I want to be in. Now, no, it's, he doesn't have high aspiration. فَالْعِشْقُ مِنْ مَظَاهِرُ دُنُوُ الْهِمَّةِ Ishq, brothers, is different from the word mahabba. Mahabba is love. Like an ishq is obsessive love. It's obsession. فَالْعِشْقُ مِنْ مَظَاهِرُ دُنُوُ الْهِمَّةِ It's a sign of low aspiration. وَهُوَ شُغُلُ الْفَارِغِ And it happens from someone who is فارغ uh, meaning empty. فهو يمثل صورة المعشوق للعاشق في خلوته. The person he becomes uh, preoccupied with thinking about this person so much so that the person who comes to him in his like when he's alone. فيكون تمثيله لها إلقاء في باطنه. The person that this individual is obsessed with, they start to see them even when they're not. Uh, they're not seeing them, they're alone, the person starts to come into their mind and their hearts. And so that's all they think about. There's a powerful statement that Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah said in his kitab, Dhammu al-Hawa. He said, فَمَنْ لَمْ تَكُلْ لَهُ هِمَّةٌ أَبِيَّةٌ لَمْ يَكَدْ يَتَخَلَّصُ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْبَلِيَّةِ Whoever doesn't have high aspiration, lofty aspiration, he's not going to be able to get rid of this sickness. فَإِنَّ ذَا الْهِمَّةِ يَأْنَفُ أَنْ يَمْلِكَ رِقَّةَ شَيْءٍ Because this type of aspiration, it will enslave you. وَمَا زَلَ الْهَوَى وَمَا زَلَ الْهَوَى يُذِلُّ أَهْلَ الْعِزِّ And desires, والله, it will humiliate an honorable person. It will humiliate you. ولذلك, and Imam al-Shafi'i رحمه الله, he said, لَوْ عَلِمْتُ أَنَّ الْمَاءَ الْبَارِدَ يَثْلِمُ مُرُؤَتِي لَمَا شَرِبْتُهُ Shafi'i, he said, if I knew that cold water will damage my honor and my dignity, I will not drink it. And in cold water, if me drinking cold water, 
means that my honor will be harmed. I won't drink cold water. And the one who has obsession for uh, a woman or women, that individual, it harms his honor. Al-A'sha, who's sometimes considered to be from the, uh, the Mu'allaqat Al-Ashara, and some scholars, they mention the Mu'allaqat Al-Sab'a, Al-A'sha. He said, أَرَى سَفَهًا لِلْمَرْءِ تَعْلِيقَ قَلْبِهِ بِغَانِيَةٍ خُودٍ مَتَى تَدْنُوا تَبْعُدِي He said, I see dimwitted for a person to connect his heart to a woman. And when she's close, his happiness is connected to that. Uh, Ibn al-Mu'taz, he said, وَإِنِّي وَإِنْ حَنَّتْ إِلَيْكَ ضَمَائِرِي فَمَا قَدْرُ حُبِّي أَنْ يَذِلَّ لَهُ قَدْرِي He said, even that though my heart is close to you and I, I love you, فَمَا قَدْرُ حُبِّي My love for you like him will not reach a point where I will humiliate myself. Low aspiration, one of its mawahir is al-ishq, excessive love, obsession. Ibn al-Muqaffa, he said, اعلم أن من أوقع الأمور في الدين وأنهكها للجسد. ابن المقع ابن المقفع he said know that the thing that harms a person's religion and also his physical ability and physically harms a person. وأتلفها للمال and also destroys your wealth. وأقتلها للعقل and also damages your logic and your mind. وأزراها للمروءة and also puts your honor and your dignity down. وأسراعها في ذهاب الجلالة والوقار and also gets rid of the veneration and the glorification that you have is الغرام بالنساء is being obsessive over women. ومن البلاء على المغرم بهن أنه لا ينفك يأجم ما عنده وتطمح عيناه إلى ما ليس عنده منهن وإنما النساء أشباه From the problems and the harms in the one who is obsessed with women is that he always has something but he sees another one and he, has another, he sees another one وإنما النساء أشباه but the women are all the same because he has obsession. So one comes, he sees another one. And then another, he keeps, وَهَكَذَا قَلْبُهُ is like that. وَمَا يَتَزَيَّنُ فِي الْعُيُونِ وَالْقُلُوبِ مِنْ فَضْلِ مَجْهُولَاتٍ عَلَى مَعْرُوفَاتٍ بَاطِنٌ وَخُدْعَةٍ بَلْ كَثِيرٌ مِمَّا يَرْغَبُ عَنْهُ الرَّاغِبُ مِمَّا عِنْدَهُ أَفْضَلُ مِمَّا تَتُوخُ إِلَيْهِ نُفُوسُهُ مِنْ هُنَّ And he mentioned that many people, they have a great person in their life, an honorable individual in their life, but they don't see that. That doesn't come to their mind. They look at something that is not in their hand. They say, oh, that's, that's the one. That's the woman. This one, she's the worst. That is the one. So he keeps looking at his, يعني, إليه نفسه من هنا. his heart and his mind is always looking at there. And he's always seeing that. Keeping in mind, he doesn't know that person. All he's seen is from the outer. He really doesn't know that person. وَإِنَّمَا الْمُرْتَغِبُ عَمَّا فِي رَحْلِهِ مِنْ هُنَّ إلى ما في رحال الناس كالمغترب عن طعام بيتي إلى ما في بيوت الناس and it's like how a person looking at the food that is in his house and he says this is rubbish the next door neighbor's food is always better than us really بل النساء بالنساء أشبه بالطعام بالطعام وما في رحال الناس من الأطعمة أشد تفاضلا وتفاوتا مما في رحاله من النساء the women, in true essence, they are generally the same. One is a woman and the other one is a woman. They are differences, without a doubt. But the tafawut and the differences that many people are basing it on someone they don't know is all due to obsession. And obsession is dunul himma. 
ولذلك أوصو سير ومن العجب أن الرجل الذي لا بأس بلبه ورأيه يرى المرأة من بعيد متلفقة في ثيابها فيصور لها في قلبه الحسن والجمال حتى تعلق بها نفسه من غير رؤية ولا خبر مخبر He said what is fascinating is a man who is smart, he's clever He sees a woman from very far wearing clothes فيصور لها في قلبه الحسن والجمال and he sees that to be when he sees her beauty comes to his mind and his heart connects to this woman without actually really knowing how she looks without no information reaching him from her ثم لعله يهجم منها على أقبح القبح وأدم الدمامة فلا يعظه ذلك he might even see her to be honest in the most unappealing form and in the يعني she doesn't look good and she doesn't he still sees that one better than the one he has. I mean, one of these that reminds me is a man has a wife. He's got a wife. And then he goes to a prostitute. The prostitute is a woman that many men are fulfilling their filth with her, their desires. Naam? He doesn't see that. He goes to that filthy, dirty woman and he will leave his honorable, protected wife of his that most of the time is more better looking, better, more hygienic, of course. With all of that, his nafs is there. He finds that appealing over this. That's what the Imam is talking about here. <laughs> حتى ولو لم يبقى في الأرض غير امرأة واحدة لظن أن لها شأنا غير شأن ما ذاق وهذا هو الحمق والشقاء والسفة يعني that's the real essence of dimwittedness he says someone you don't know you haven't really seen them you have no understanding of them you may be glimpsed once or twice but nothing more than that your heart has now connected to that person you saw an Instagram image of them for example or you saw a um, a Twitter picture of her online and automatically she's better than someone you know they're in and they're out a partner that you are this is uh, the ishq that we're talking about it's the ishq that we're talking about which based on dunul himma I'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaytan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdihi ashadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.